is time to go back to Fusion, which recommends something different. Of course, it's going to be related to Nintendo, but here we go. We just got a little bit of text. Super Mario World All-Star Edition is a non-profit freeware fan game founded by Camtendo and Mikey Star on Halloween 2010. We just got a bunch of text there. We'll skip that this time, since it has to do with just the project itself. <laughs> And of course, winners don't use shrooms. They play the entire game small, because they got a lot of courage. Unfortunately, Mario is big right now, so... It's not going to be easy for him to follow the law. Anyway, you heard something is happening inside. What is it? It's none other than Luigi. Who's probably also wondering what's going on right now. Hello, something is about to happen, Luigi. Let's just press right now. Super Mario World ASE. It's the first demo, though. But, let's begin. Press the Start button. And we will start a new game. I've got my controls configured already. I've got Novice, Intermediate, or Expert. I haven't played this yet, but... With a lot of courage, I am going to try Expert. <laughs> or maybe just a sense of my own stupidity. I don't know why. Hello there, I'm Wanda. Oh, these these trinkets are the Seven Star Shards. Pretty, aren't they? When all the Star Shards combine, they make up the All Star. All Star, I get it. The All Star is the project. Uh, the pro. Ugh. Lord, I forgot how to pronounce. Well, of the Starman and the Power Stars. All of them enable its owner with profound abilities and luminosity. <laughs> okay. The All Star gave the stars of the Mushroom World to exist independently, but over time. They became scarce and ephemeral. Er, ephemeral. Ugh. The All Star has tremendous, incomprehensible power that, you want to keep it a mystery, anyone who controls the All Star can grant unlimited wishes and have the ability to warp landscapes into their own image. Are they going to form an All Star yet? It is said by old that only a bold hero can defeat someone under the influence of the All-Star. If the All-Star was to fall into sinister hands. Alright. Or claws. That works too. Haha. <laughs> you gotta wonder who it's going to be. You gotta wonder. Kirby doesn't have claws. His, en his own enemies do not have claws either, I, at least I don't think. Well, maybe some, but... Hmm. Again, what do you call them? Foes. Here we go. Here is our star. In Bowser's eyes, the All-Star was treasure to him. And that's all. Days later, I've witnessed Bowser, Kamek, and Kami Koopa went to the Star Haven and snatched the All-Star out of its rightful place and used it for their own means. I then immediately flew off to the Mushroom Kingdom. There we go. Now we know who. But we assumed who, I would think. Super Mario World, after all. Clown Car. Cl clown Claw. Would there be any... Would ever have claws? It would look interesting with them. Hmm. I want to see what the clown car would look like with claws on it. Oh, and here we go. The news about the theft of the All-Star reached the Mushroom Kingdom. Currently, Luigi. He was reading the newsletter as Mario comes inside from a breath of fresh air. <laughs> Gotta love all that mumbling. <laughs> 
Want to hear some English out of Mario's mouth? What now, Luigi? Okay, come on. You gotta be brave. You gotta do better. Now that you're doing better, we can do good as one. We can probably do something. You know how to know how to jump. So, a baby clown car. Oh, you're. You are. Did you just. Okay, well, at least. At least I didn't do much to Luigi and Mario. Yes, left to right. The house, on the other hand, it does not look like it's going to do well. Hello, Mario Brothers. Remember me? I'm Wanda. <sighs> I've been flying here to tell you something urgent has happened. King Koopa has stolen the All Star from Star Haven. But to no surprise. Oh, and Princess Peach needs you to her castle. She has a council meeting, and she urges you to come right away. If there is nowhere else to go... Want to put the fire out? It looks like it could be salvaged on the inside. Or at least on the outside. I don't know what it's going to be on the inside. We never got a chance to look in after the bomb. Anyway, got a tutorial right here. Here we go. Let's-a go, actually. Make up your mind. So, you ready? Hey, Mario. Welcome to the tutorial. Since you haven't had any adventures in a while, I will be your guide. Besides, we have to get to Peach's castle. Would you like to explain to me the... Wait, would you like to explain to me the basics? Uh, Wanda doesn't know? Well, we'll look at the explanation anyway, since I've done that before. Alright then, let's get started. So here's the basics. To move left or right, use the arrow keys. Note, your keyboard keys might be different because you reconfigured them. So, the key so these keys might not apply to you. I did reconfigure my own. Got for B and A, I've got Z and X for start select. I got what you might find in an NES emulator. Alright, you can jump. Can't be the Mario Brothers without the Jumpman power. Right? Did you use your technique too? Let me explain that one. Mario can perform a spin jump that KOs enemies and can fend off spiked enemies to making easy progress. Luigi can scutter jump, giving him Enhanced jumping and allows easy landing. And it could also reach spots other players cannot. Sounds great? Before you go anywhere, one last thing. You must know how to run and how to crouch. I've done that so many times, I probably memorized it. Unless, of course, you surprise me with some other different controls. Anyway, to run, hold the control key. This allows you to move faster, and if you have equipped a super leaf, you can fly as well. Fly by rapidly pressing the shift key. And to duck. Well, hold... Or, or to duck well, whatever, whichever way he, she wants to say it. Hold the down key. Useful for dodging enemy attacks and reaching into small holes. With a little bit of jumping, of course. Yes, again, I've got my controls reconfigured, so... Oh, time to fly. There we go. We can demonstrate it quite well, and we can't get hurt. Wonderful work. But hey, if you feel that this information I'm giving you is a mouthful, tell me. I would like to see. I would like to see you learn naturally. Should I tell you more? Well, we might as well. Well, you're not ready yet. Besides, the way to Peach's castle is a dangerous one, and, of course, you must be prepared. Go ahead and get a move on. I'll explain more along the way. And finally, we can scroll. If you want to reach the end of this tutorial in a short amount of time, enter this pipe. We had an unusual flash there, too. It wasn't to repeat. You gotta wonder... Hmm. If the invincibility we saw from Super Mario Fusion Revival is gonna apply here... I won't take a chance. It didn't say anything about it. 
Let's... Okay, let's press up soon. Wait, I see something else? Well, of course we saw the Koopas. We can... We can steal the shell. Wait. So I guess we are invincible. I was, I was just flashing, and I think I did get hurt. Good old climbing and jumping at the same time. Such different controls here, such different jumping. Probably slightly rounder tiles. Easy for Mario to make his way around. Well, no Koopa shell for me to try. Again. Yes, exactly. Mario is invincible here. Well, you don't want to die in a tutorial level. That would be quite embarrassing. Also, notice that there is no timer here. Hold down if you want to slide. Quite powerful there. These things are called star coins. Collect five of these valuables to not only get a one-up, but also to earn prizes that you can view in your DMG by pressing enter on the main map. I recommend to find as many as you can. Okay, continuously pressing the equivalent of your B button. And it's just the equivalent if it would be on a controller. Whoa! What is... Is it because I'm running in the bush? Or around the bush? Well, something is going on. Anyway, we could press down to go down that pipe. Let's do just that. Let's do just that one more time. And it's not going to move me left or right while it's shooting me upwards. Hey, I see you're swimming. To swim, press the shift key, systematically. If you want to swim faster, rapidly press it. But if you want to swim higher or lower, use the up and down keys. However, if you're swimming with an item, use the down key to descend. And since I do not see an air meter here, I guess that's not much to worry about. The springboard. Not gonna tell me about that. Uh, too bad. I want to know absolutely everything. Warning, watch out for munchers. By the way, these diagonal pipes become potential cannons. Whenever you see a diagonal pipe nearby, you need to you may need to enter a pipe to use one. I don't see a diagonal pipe just yet. I'm just wait. Oh. Okay, so they rotate 180 degrees very quickly. And we have something in here, too. I like, I like. Get coins and a, f a fire flower, an ice flower, or anything. Let's go ahead and shoot, because it was from that side. There we go. How I actually miss these cannons so much. No spin jumping allowed. I'll take your word for it. I'm not going to break these at all. No spin jumping allowed when you're in the water, that's a given. Since it's just going to force me to swim upwards. Ooh, I think I'm... Something is causing me to swim a little bit faster, too. Oh. Didn't see that coming, but quite helpful. No flashing either, so... At least I don't think there was any flashing. Oh boy, Mario moves really quickly here. Hmm, maybe it feels a a bit more natural in another way. Just coming to a stop so quickly at other times... Maybe that might not feel so natural. I love how you can do that, even when you've already opened them. You can knock them upwards. You can probably knock out a Goomba or Koopa that way. Any enemy. <laughs> Case is probably going to be... Yoshi! Yoshi! Thanks for rescuing me. Bowser's kidnapped me and the other Yoshis have sealed me inside these eggs again. He sure is one hothead. <laughs> Again, I really do think that the case... No, it's, it doesn't apply here. It applied in Fusion, but not here. Unless... Well... There's always the possibility that I can take damage even when riding Yoshi here. Time to press. Ooh. Also... I see that it's safe down there. And eh, let's go ahead and try for this one. Hmm, just because it's there. Let's see the best we can do. Come on, get up. Run fast enough, you can stay up here. And collect your little reward. 
And not much of a reward, but still. Better than a poison mush. What in the world? I can't really explain that death either. But I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. It's a tutorial, after all. It's supposed to be the safest place in the world. Alright. Something just happened, and I'm flashing. The player can pick up items by either uprooting them from the ground or below their feet by simply holding the control key. Once it's plucked or or picked... Yeah, I jumbled the order, but same diff. The player can throw it by pressing the control key and can throw it on at an arc by using the up or down arrow keys. Try making use of throwing stuff for, at enemies or other objects. Hmm. Well, you can't use a control key when you're on Yoshi, so... Still. Gotta do something. I gotta remember. How did I dismount? Jeez, really. How am I going to get off of Yoshi? What was the control... Oh, yeah. <laughs> In my case, I configured it to another key. For me, it's gonna be C. For another one. I'm so used to the spin jump control dismounting off of Yoshi. Anyway, I guess it's time to pluck a little more. Don't even need to press down at all. Go on a search. Yoshi can stay there. What a good a Yoshi block would do right now to transport Yoshi somewhere else. So what? Oh, looks like I'm gonna hold on to this one for longer if I want my reward. And how I'm gonna want to get to 100 lives after an embarrassing death. <laughs> Come on. I guess the time does not reset once you let go. You're allowed to continue on. Well, it's not gonna force itself back in that easily. There we go, and that one was certainly not. That sign ahead is a sign that tells you that you cannot proceed with Yoshi, but don't worry about it. He'll return soon. This might be part of the reason why you cannot lose Yoshi in this level. Pull them all out, and we see... Well, another sign... Okay, it keeps saying control. For me, it's still the Z key. There we go, we got another Yoshi block. Which we will have to make use of. Will we have to make use of it? Okay, so... Remember that the star coins, well, at least they'll be saved even if you die, but do not complete the level yet, uh, apparently. That gives us a 1-up. <laughs> That'll make up for it, slightly. These blocks are called power-up specific blocks. They have a labeling that specifies what you have to use to break them. For this one, you can use a tail whip from a super leaf or to break through. For the next one, a fire flower. An ice flower or a super flower to break through this. Super flower. <laughs> Read that one more time. Yes, it did say super flower. Well, time to switch to the fire flower. Time to switch back to Yoshi. Okay. So it's just like Super Mario Brothers X. You can hold up to throw the fireballs higher. This is a Yoshi retrieval block. If Yoshi is standing around waiting for you, use this to allow Yoshi to teleport right above the block. It's useful when you've climbed or accessed places that Yoshi can't go. However, it won't work if Yoshi has ran away or has fell through a bottomless pit. Or if you don't have a Yoshi. I'd also assume that. I think it's giving me the progress how far I am in this tutorial. Definitely a long one, but still. I'll do something with this P-switch. Like, leave it right here. Yes, I get the idea. I gotta control. Oops. And I think I did that in the wrong order. But wait. One more time. A tutorial, so... Okay, it just resets. It's not going to regenerate its original area. Well, for your hunger, at least. You can take care of those shy guys. Do this one more time. Looks like we're going to have to dismount from Yoshi again. Probably could have carried Yoshi through the door. Wow, this is a long tutorial. 
Hitting the tape here will set you will set off a checkpoint, allow you to start back here in case you lose a life. I'd take that chance if I were you. Take the chance with the checkpoint. Still doesn't hurt yet. And obviously I cannot take Yoshi. So here we go. Something ought to happen. Something. Wait. Now what? A simple Goomba becomes something unholy. Oh, Mario, you just can't resist getting the All-Star back, can't you? Well, enough of that. Goomba, time to grow, grow, grow. Well, guess it's time for one to shrink, shrink, shrink. But it ain't gonna be me. Ooh, so magical, it's gonna slow down the game. What do you got now? Yeah, show me. Show me. But it's really nothing at all. Despite being, despite being big. Hey Mario, use your jumping skills to squash him and beat this guy once and for all. Once he can move me around. Alright. Gets angered quite easily. And you can see the health bar right there too. Wait. Can't tell how much health... Appears to have 8 health. And then you'll be gone. Ooh. You're a bit faster now. Don't care whether or not I would have taken damage from the boss fight. Okay, it's 8 health plus 1. But is that all there is to that Goomba? There we go. There is our reward. A deserved one, maybe. Alright. <laughs> Well, quite the tutorial that was, and uh, quite the reward we have there. A moo <laughs> And, of course, coins. Hmm. Well, score rank... Sure. We're gonna be ranked on our score regularly? Hmm. Alright then, uh... Keep your progress up to this point? Of course. Well, unless you were evil enough to put a secret in here. Well, leave that behind us. It is still a tutorial, after all. You gotta be nice. So, a tank, or right here. We'll start with the town next time.